Today's minifigure Monday is on this. The Oni Lord. Mighty conqueror of worlds and the most devastating enemy known to minifigure kind. Or at least my kind. Okay, yeah, uh, like those of you so you may be wondering, an Oni is like a type of demon. So this is guy is a demon lord. Let us see how I built this thing. This guy like took the legs itself, kind of took a longer period of time to build than like uh, the rest of the build, build itself. They are able to move around, except like the uh, minifigure parts. Leg parts are a little hard to control. But, you can fix it with glue, but I choose not to glue my minifigure parts together, so this guy has wobbly ability. And yeah, let's start with the build of the minifigure, without the leg extension. The only lord is pretty easy. All I had to do is, uh, the upper half is pretty easy. Um, all you need is one of these things in black. Four next exo force robot arms with hands. Four red swords. The head is basically a uh, mystery head. You need one of these in red or black. Chain cuffs in for the uh, like helmet and a black helmet. You also need a uh, arm extender that can actually like uh, give him an extra boost. Now it's for the bottom half. That's one second. I like to attach with one arm right here. It's a cape. The cape's optional, but you can actually use one of these. I used a, uh, with a red sash around. I used, like, one of the Indiana Jones villain pieces for this. This. It's pretty cool. He also attached a couple of blocks there, like, just to, like, make it look like he's extending his arms. As you can see, I used a red cape under here. One sec. And now let's, um, uh, let's continue on with the legs build, shall we? This has got to be the craziest part of the whole minifigure build. I got the idea from Lord Business, and I decided to make my own version of Lord Business's leg. I wasn't going for Lord Business's legs in general, but this has got to be the most unique piece of all. Let's just show you how it's built. You need it like this in the bottom to make some kind of effect. I use mostly pieces from like the mini f to make your own uh, build. It's a pretty easy build. All you need is yeah. The next part of it is pretty easy. Easy. Um, you just need to make it in this form. I'm not very good with explaining things. Um, this one's particularly easy too. Um, well, obviously, it obviously has to be mirrored exactly as it is. And this is how you make that arm leg guard, like so. Or how I made this thing. It's pretty easy. All you need is um, need is something like so. You can also substitute this with another piece, but I choose to make it. Like that to make it more stable. You then need like, like to make this like so. Pretty easy. I, it's kind of complicated to put back together on camera. So, and to show. Now, uh, I just like uh, to make this. I use this like so. So I use one of these pieces. Is look so, and uh, yeah, all I had to do was mirror it up, up like so. You only need two of these, like exactly the same. You can also replace all of them with black or red pieces. I just chose a black, red, and orange color scheme to make it more simple. 
but it actually came out pretty good. I really am proud of this build. Build. So yeah. Let's go on to the minifigure face. The face of this minifigure is just a Mr. E face, but you can also replace it with a Rogel face if you don't have Mr. E as a minifigure. Figure. This his staff is just like a uh, like a black pole with a a uh, dragon sword thing. You can replace this with any kind of sword you want. Like it could reflect like elemental energy and reflect. And use it like to uh, attract elemental energy, and uh, yeah, that's basically yeah. I really like how I came up with this guy, like uh, coming up with uh, six arms and like Garmadon, which has four arms. I really outdo myself when it comes to these minifigures. I really like how he came out, and like I've really like thought really hard on like what I should do with this minifigure type. I mean. I was originally going to use a skeleton torso on him, him, but uh, it just didn't work work as well as this torso with no arms. Of course, you'll need like a torso with, of course, no arms right here. Of course, I took off the arms and made him a little more custom. This guy is more illegal or customized instead of just plain old custom. He's fully custom. You can choose to uh, remove the cape and add more arms if you want, if you don't want to ruin the torso piece. Also, you can also, like, also another builder tip, you can replace this with another, like, torso piece. Like, you can get these from Lord Garmadon, not minifigures. Of course, Lord Garmadon, like, minifigures are hard to come by nowadays. I use this from, like, the, uh... The like Lego Movie version of Lord Garmadon. Like, if you don't want to cost buy some money, you can just order the piece off like Lego.com or on um, Bricklink or Brick Owl or whatever. I actually got this from like the set itself or a minifigure pack. Well, this guy came. This torso came for a minifigure pack. So yeah, I really like how he came out. Uh, especially the leg design. I wanted to come up with something like so evil, like basically Lord Business is the only other minifigure, only minifigure who has extended legs. Like, I decided to create like my own extended legs. This could actually be a pretty futuristic thing. I really like how it came out. Um, it actually had some pretty unique pieces to it. Um, I really like it. I especially like, like the red swords which I gave him. Him, of course. And, yeah. Hmm. I, uh, powers and abilities include, um, there is stealing power, this element of destruction, which is most Oni powers, has the ability to hypnotize, has anyone who basically, like, looks into his eyes, like the hypnobrine, brine and a cunt, Serpentine. He's basically when he's in his leg form, he can become indestructible, like to a certain extent. The only way he cannot be indestructible is by removing, being removed from his legs. It's pretty crazy how he came out. I really like this. Uh, look for like if you guys want me to include him in like one of my uh, Lego videos, just say so in the comments below. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be informed of all my future content and future Minifigure Monday videos. And thank you. Goodbye, have a good time, and see ya. Peace.